Pittsburgh is kicking off first, and we're ready to get this game underway. Nice kick, plenty of distance. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Clemson staff and their fans have heard all week long their quarterback's going to play terribly on the road. I think their staff's got them ready to prove them wrong right now. I, I think this staff really has rallied this entire team around some of that negative talk. And I think they believe in their guy that he can go on the road and make the plays and lead them to a big victory. I, you know, sometimes when you hit some adversity like that, you see teams circle the wagons. And I, and I really believe this week they've done a great job of doing that. Now they just have to go out and execute the plan and go out and win this game. Up the middle for a nice game. So the option play goes for a short gain there. The halfback took the option and did what he could with it. He didn't get far, but he picked up the first down. yard line the offense was pretty successful on that play there that was a very good passing play to get the ball downfield for a very nice gain and a first down short pass middle of the field it could be that the offensive coordinator is trying to lure the secondary in to play more press coverage and then they'll try to take advantage by going deep those safeties better be ready Caught with room to work. Tackle at the 37. Nice pickup as they connect on the pass play. Well, they look to be in sync right now. They're both reading the defense properly, and the result is a nice game. From the 37-yard line, first down. Takes a hand off, tackled for a loss. Well, the defensive line got such a good push up front that there was no one on the offense to account for the linebacker. And he got through almost untouched. Just throws this one away. We're at play number nine of this current drive. It and it's tipped away. Excellent pass defense. You've got to be able to make a lightning quick reaction to bat the ball away like he did right there. It's fourth down. They'll call on the field goal unit. Clemson could take the lead with this field goal. He gets it up and it's long enough. And he got it. They line up to kick this one away. Sends it sailing downfield. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. So let's see what the offense can do as they come out onto the field. job here by the defense if you let this quarterback set and throw he'll kill you all game but they got excellent pressure on that play from their own 25 yard line it's second down he's on the run and he's taken down around the 33 yard line Seven yard line from their own 37 yard line it's first down runs it and he stops short of the line of scrimmage loss of four yards on the play that makes it second and 14 
It's out of bounds around the 38 yard line. They'll line it up again on third down. pass incomplete that's a real danger if he leaves too many passes short like that sooner or later they're going to end up in the wrong set of hands he gets it away and this is a really nice punt they'll bring him down at the 21 Well, the last drive was good for three, but I'm sure in this one they'll be looking to double that. Clemson is up by three. He steps up once and all, going deep. Almost intercepted. They're really fortunate that wasn't intercepted. Not a very smart decision by the quarterback. He had no shot at completing it. It's second and ten. Ball on the 21. Knocked out of bounds at the 15. kick tackle at the 43 and while they are behind they know they can knock things up in a heartbeat it's way too early to change your game plan got a man tackled for a loss that's a loss of about five well that's just a sound play by the defense they dropped him well short of the line of scrimmage. From their own 38-yard line, second down. Gets it off as he's hit, complete. He's taken down at the 45-yard line. First and ten, ball on the 45. Forward to about the 36. Short yardage situation here. It's third and one. Not a lot of offense in quarter number one, but nonetheless, we've got a close game. 3-0, Clemson. Set to resume action here in the second quarter, and we've got a tight ball game. Mike 12, Mike 12. Complete, he's got room. He's pushed out of bounds around the 17-yard line.
from the 17 yard line. First down. And he's tackled at about the five yard line. They make the stop at about the seven yard line. Boy, did you see how the defense just swarmed to the ball carrier? That was fantastic pursuit. From the seven yard line, second down. Brought down at the five. This is the ninth play of this drive. And he is drilled at the three yard line. A yard, maybe two on the carry. Fourth down. They'll line up for the field goal, and this is nothing more than a chip shot. Pittsburgh is looking to tie things up. He gets it up, and he got it. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. He just drills this one. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. They've been like a couple of fighters feeling each other out so far. Let's see if they start to open it up a little bit more now. The Cavalry's coming. That's a great tackle at the 17-yard line. Sometimes it's just a relentless pass rush that results in a sack. That's what happened there. So the sack makes this a second and long. Made at the 24. Wants to go long and does. It's intercepted. They'll bring him down right around the 30. He tried to force that one in there. Yep. And the safety made him pay for it. Great job of watching the quarterback's eyes and even a better catch. From their own 30-yard line, first down. Out of bounds around the 37-yard line. Throws complete. He's got room to work. He goes out of bounds at the 44. So they complete that for about seven yards, and they'll pick up a first down. And how about the poise of this quarterback to locate his receiver, pass the sticks, and get him the ball? That was a great throw. And they'll get him in the backfield. From their own 42 yard line. Second down. He gets it out to about the 47 yard line. That's a deal. They run for it in a major collision. Call the loss of one yard on the play. That brings up fourth and three. 
Fourth down, and the offense is still on the field. Mike 12. Mike 12. Go. 268. 268. Gonna go across the middle, caught, and he tackles him hard at the 35. Tight ends can really be a wild card in any offense. Sometimes the defense are a little bit confused on how to handle them. First and ten. Ball on the 35-yard line. Got it. Complete. He's out of bounds. The pass results in a first down. I'll tell you, great call by the coaches on first down. It stretches the defense when they're expecting the run, and then they end up with another first down. And this is the ninth play of the current drive. So the referee initially calls it a catch, but we'll have a chance to take a second look at it and determine if he really was in bounds when he caught the ball. Well, the side judge was standing right there, so I'd be surprised if he missed that call. After, After review of the, the play, play, the ruling, the ruling on, the on the field, field stands. stands. Well, I think the play warranted a review, but the call on the field stands. Gets out to around the 12. Nice job by the running back, and that'll get him seven, maybe eight yards. This is the 10th play of this drive. Gets it out quickly to the back, but he can't haul it in. It's third down, and they're about two yards shy of the sticks. He gets out to about the nine-yard line. The offense coordinator right now is very happy with the execution. That's the fifth first down on this drive alone. The big thing is when you have this kind of drive going, you don't want to end it in a field goal. Now you want to focus on trying to put the football into the end zone. Scrambling around, and down he goes at the five-yard line. Accepted. This is from the five yard line. It's third and goal. Fires that quickly incomplete. Number 14, the intended receiver on the play. That brings us fourth and goal. Pittsburgh is looking to go up by three. Kicks away, and it's good. Even though they gave up a field goal here, that defense is feeling pretty good about themselves right now. It could have just as easily been a touchdown. Looks like they're ready for the kick. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. The Tigers have really got some work to do, I think, Kirk, in the second half, because from what we've seen from their quarterback so far, if he's their star, it's not shining right now, and they've got to find somebody else to light up the sky a little bit. Well, I think collectively as a head coach, an offensive coordinator, a quarterback coach, they're all going to have to get together and take some time to visit with this quarterback at halftime and try to find out if they can somehow get him going. And the other thing to think about is maybe this is where the running backs, maybe it's, this is their week to take some of the pressure off him. Maybe the receivers, the offensive line. When your star isn't playing up to his abilities, he has a tendency to press. Somebody else has to step up their game and take some of the pressure off him. From their own 25-yard line, third down. We're going to halftime, and we've got a great game. 6-3, Panthers. Hi, everybody. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation 
that excites. Ms. Davis, David Pollock here in the studio as always to lend a little perspective to what just went down in the first 30 minutes. What a terrific first half. This is everything we anticipated this game being. And we're going to be riveted to this game, I feel like, David, in the second half, anticipating a terrific finish. It's it's fun. It's 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 living up to the hype every single time. We can't even turn the channel here. We got it on the big screen on the big 60-inch. Yes, it's quite nice, by the way, too. The weather's nice and warm. It's beautiful. Got some chips. We're opening them up a little bit. But great game, living up to the hype. It definitely feels like both teams are evenly matched. It feels like it can go either way. It feels like it's going to come down to the wire. And the only thing I hope it doesn't come down to is a kicker. Please don't come down to a kick in the end. Both these teams playing great D, playing great O, you know, physical, you know, pounding on each other, making big plays. Don't come down to a finesse kick by like a, a soccer player, please. That's going to do it for David and me here in the studio. Time to get you back to the game. Brad and Kirk ready to take you home in the second half. Great first half and a tight ball game, and we're set to start quarter number three. Nice kick, plenty of distance. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. You know, this offense is doing a pretty good job moving the football. The problem is they're not coming up with touchdowns. The offense coordinator who's been up here next to us, Brad, the booth next to us, he's actually just taken off his headsets, and I think he's going down to the field to be next to the quarterback and the rest of this offense to try to engage with them to realize how important it is to finish these drums. Tackle to the 38-yard line. We've got a first and 10. Ball on the 38-yard line. Pittsburgh has a three-point lead. He makes it out to maybe the 39-yard line. That brings up second and nine. Got it to his man on the screen. And he shoved out of bounds at the 40-yard line. down 10 yards to go ball on the 40 yard line they'll bring him down for a loss on the play the quarterback trying to do a little too much by himself hey maybe next time he'll get it out to the back so he can do something with it case of a quarterback so eager to make a play that he failed to see the danger of that attempt and nearly gave the ball away. Third down now, and they need to get it down to the 30. Fires out quickly to the tailback. He's tackled around the 38-yard line. Number 21 on the tackle at the 38-yard line. That, that makes, makes it fourth, fourth and eight. The kick is up. It's got the distance. And he nails the long field goal. They line up to kick this one away. And he got all of this one. Great kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Pittsburgh's continuing to play extremely tough defense. This has been impressive. It's just been impressive to watch them play with such an attitude, almost a chip on their shoulder with the energy that they're playing with. I think it's going to require that kind of effort to be able to win this game. This deficit can be easily overcome, sure. But they have to be thinking if they don't get something going on this series, the burden is going to be felt by their defense. He's taken down around the 24-yard line. They don't get back to the line of scrimmage there on the option keeper. A loss of one. From their own 24-yard line, it's second down. Yeah. 
Quick throw to the tight end. He's taken down at the 36. Call the game 12 yards. First down. He steps out around the 31 yard line. From their own 31 yard line, it's second down. He might have a chance, makes it out to about the 40. That's good for that makes it 37. He's wrapped up for the sack. Boy, this pass rush is sometimes scary. They're really getting after the quarterback now. That makes it for the The sack makes this a fourth and very long. Booming kick. He makes it to the 35-yard line. The offense goes back out onto the field after picking up a field goal on their last drive. Pittsburgh is up by six. And he's tackled right around the 38-yard line. Second and six coming up here. Ball on their own 38. But I love the toughness here by this quarterback of sitting in until the last second, trying to make a play downfield, only to have this defense get to him. He's got to do a better job maybe feeling things out a little bit, but at least he has the awareness and a toughness to sit in that pocket. Get the sack. The defenders played the snap count perfectly. They found the path into the backfield and didn't let the quarterback get away. And they're coming after this punter. Can this defense play any better? I mean, these guys have a great tradition. They live up to the billing today. Now we're starting to see whether or not this team can get it done. And if they are, then I think the defense should go down to the offensive side of the field, talk to their own offense, and try to get them fired up to go out there and get some more points on them. Gains his way to midfield. First he gets sacked on the play. The smart quarterbacks and offensive linemen have a really unique relationship. A quarterback should take care of his offensive linemen. But after that play and that hit, you really got to be wondering what kind of relationship this quarterback and his offensive linemen have after that. So the sack makes this third and very long. He sails it long. And a great catch downfield. He'll take it all the way for the touchdown. Wow, an almost impossible pass to defend, and it goes for six. Yep, the defense would have needed 12 guys on the field that time. Trying to take the lead. Here's the extra point. 
And he converts the extra point. A four-play, 66-yard drive, and that's good for a touchdown. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. Excellent kick. And it sails out of the end zone for a touchback. Both teams are kind of struggling to take control of this game. Obviously, they're both very, very competitive with one another. It just seems that the lead is going back and forth between the two teams. There's still plenty of time to keep running their offense as usual here. I don't think they need to feel any anxiety about trailing. And they make the stop at about the 41. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 41. 12, 12. Got his man. Can't tack on any yardage. Did you see how he looked that ball into his hands? That's how you catch a football. about three yards to get the first here on second down. Tackle made at about the 45. Hang on tight, folks. We head to the fourth quarter in what could be a shocker. The Tigers lead it by one. First down. Welcome back to the action. Fourth quarter. This one will decide it. Tight ball game through three. He holds on to it and gets maybe two yards. That's a game two on the play. That makes it second and eight. From the 43-yard line, second down. He's scrambling. They'll bring him down at the 41. Gain of two yards. Third down. Tight end right. Tight end right. Four down, four down. Check by 12. By 12, by 12. Set us a On three, on three. Motion, motion, motion. Halfback's got it on the quick throw. Brought down at the 39. Number 12 brings him down. So it's fourth down. They'll line it up for a very long field goal attempt. He gets it up, and it's long enough, and he hooked it left. That would have given him the lead. You know, sometimes you have to feel sorry for these kickers. They watch most of the game from the sideline, but then they're asked to come in and win the game in the fourth quarter. It's a lot of pressure to handle. Things aren't tied, but they might as well be. It's this drive that could really dictate the tone for the last quarter. Clemson with a one-point lead. Run, 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 run. Here's the halfback. Makes it out to maybe the 40-yard line. Goes out of bounds around the 44 yard line. That's a team four. That will make it three. Setting up blockers or running backs got it on the screen. And down he goes around the 47 yard line.
He puts it away, and it's a great kick. This punt goes over the goal line, and this will be a touchback. The Panthers have got to be fired up how this game is going. They still got a chance to win. Well, you're talking about a huge underdog that's battled the entire game. They've got the football here to start this drive late with a chance to take the lead. You can't even imagine what this would do for this football team if they can put six points up on it. Hands it to the back. And he's stopped behind the line. And the linebacker comes up and makes a big stop. This is textbook. This is how you're supposed to play against the run. It's second and 10. Ball on the 20-yard line. A little more than two minutes to go in the fourth quarter. Out of bounds at the 21. That last pass got him only a yard. This was just a little dump-off pass to the halfback, but it was very well defended, keeping them from moving the ball very far downfield. Quick throw, steps out of bounds, right around the 28-yard line. And it's the offense that takes the field on fourth down. Gets to around the 42. Going deep. Picked off. It's the quarterback. He steps up and makes a big turnover. Yeah, he just made a huge play right there. He knew what was coming all along. First and ten. Ball on the 36-yard line. Red two! Still go Brown. And he hits him hard at the 34-yard line. So the halfback loses about two on the run. The defender snuck right through the blocks and just drilled the ball carrier. That's a standout play. He makes it out to maybe the 36-yard line. He gains a couple of yards on the carry. Pittsburgh's going to have to use their second time out of the half. And he tackles him hard at the 29. Coaches don't like it when their quarterback gets hit like that. Don't be surprised to see the old coach get on his lineman to protect the quarterback a little bit better. Less than two minutes in the fourth quarter. They get this one off, and it's a beauty. He fields a punt at the 20. He makes it out to maybe the 33-yard line. The Panthers have played poorly all day long. That really doesn't matter right now. They played sloppy. They're not going to be happy when they go back and look at the film on Monday. But with all that being said, they still have a chance to win this game. And at the end of the day, that's all that matters is trying to get that W. Caught open field. Tackle right around the 46-yard line. He's at the 30. He's tackled at the 27-yard line. Well, the defense has to be very frustrated there. They did everything. They got to the quarterback. In fact, it looked like they had a chance to bring him down for the sack. And somehow, he's able to throw the ball away. Second down, 10 to go. Ball on the 27. Makes a catch and he's got nowhere to go. There was some movement on the line. False start, start offense. offense. 
They'll give this one another try after the flag. And on third down, too. Third down. That's when you don't want those kind of things to happen. Third and long here in the fourth, and this is the biggest third down of the ball game. Going for it all to the end zone. Just a tremendous job by that defense, and their coordinator did a super job there to keep it this close in this ball game. And now the offense has got a chance to win it. Under a minute left in the game. The kick is away. It's long enough, and it's good. like they're ready for the kick. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. The Tigers have got to be just a little bit careful that they lean too much on a star player here in this stage of the game. Yeah, but having a quarterback that understands what this defense wants to try to do to slow this offense down is very, very important. Now he's just got to stay calm, make good decisions, and move his offense down the field. They come out on an empty backfield. Picked off, and that'll seal it up. It's on the ground. Clemson's quarterback, you know, typically doesn't make a mistake in that situation. Well, sometimes you, you take a chance, and sometimes you become the hero, and sometimes you become the GOAT. This time, it, it didn't work out for him. He'll be able to learn from this and move forward. The whistle hasn't sounded yet. They still have to snap the ball and make sure they don't make any mistakes. Up the middle for a nice game. The Tigers taking their first time out of the half. Gets to about the 27-yard line. And he gets a yard on the run. Clemson will have one timeout remaining. Nice run there. But well, that's a great job by this offense. The defense knew that the run was coming, and they still could not slow them down. Pick up a first down and allows them to continue to work this clock. The offense lining up in a victory formation, and he takes a knee. From the 22-yard line, second down. Tigers, I'm sure, are secure in the knowledge that despite this setback today, they still have one of the best players in the country. Well, this is a devastating loss, but it's one that they're going to have to put behind them. And as you said, they still have one of the best players in the country. They don't need to deviate their plan. Get back to really what they know, and that's getting the ball to their star player. And next week, I'm sure they'll be fine. Thanks for joining us for another game of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk and everyone here at EA Sports, Brad Nussler saying goodbye, and we'll see you next time.